Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I am gonna talk about NFTs and I'm gonna go over step-by-step -step on how to buy an NFT because it is a little bit tricky and it's very confusing. I was confused for a very long time, but I did some research and I did it for you guys in this video. Now, I'm also gonna talk about Gary V. He has a drop on May 5th. Uh, and of course, if you want to be prepared for that drop, you need to have all, all everything set up pretty much to properly buy an NFT. Now, NFTs are part of the Ethereum platform. So you actually need to own Ethereum to buy an NFT. But also, you actually need a special a wallet because certain uh, marketplaces where you can buy and sell NFTs require a special wallet. So I'm going to go over that wallet and all the details on how to acquire NFTs. So if you guys have any questions about this video, let me, down, let me know down below in the YouTube comments. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube comments, uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I do post new videos about NFTs, uh, crypto, stocks, uh, things that are pretty much moving in the market. So let me share my screen and let's get started, okay guys? So what I'm gonna do first, guys, I am gonna share um, my, my Weeble, because like I mentioned before, guys, you do, do need to own Ethereum in order for you to purchase an NFT because an NFTs are pretty much based on the Ethereum blockchain, Ethereum platform. Right now, one Ethereum is trading around 2,000, uh, you can see the price right here, $2,295. Now, um, you don't need to own a whole Ethereum to buy NFTs, some NFTs are priced at um, a couple dollars in terms of uh, dollars to, to Ethereum. So you don't need a whole uh, uh, Ethereum. Now, in terms of uh, getting prepared for the Gary V drop on May 5th, he, he actually recommends you to have at least one Ethereum. So that's around $2,280 uh, right now, uh, which that'll be the cost of Ethereum. Now, if you already own an Ethereum because you bought some uh, back in the day on Coinbase, then you're pretty much good to go. But to kind of go over some of the steps. Now, uh, for those who are, or you guys are not aware who Gary V is, uh, Gary V, um, he pretty much is, a, he's the CEO of Vayner Media and Vayner Sports, but he pretty much is known uh, in, in social media for having a lot of motivational speeches uh, and, how, and he's really promoting the social media, social media marketing, uh, creating your own uh, personal brand, things like that. But he also does consulting for a lot of like, large companies. Um, and that's pretty much through Banner Media. Now, he's also known for being an early investor in Coinbase, Snap, Venmo, and Twitter, especially Twitter. He made some serious money on Twitter. Uh, so, so he has a following. Now, if you see his following, he has 8.9 million followers on Instagram. And of course, he also has millions of followers on Facebook, YouTube, etc. Uh, so he has a, a social media platform, which is very, very important, by the way, uh, in order for you to have a successful drop um, of an NFT, you need to have following because to be honest, I'm going to be honest, guys, um, you know, fame, <laughs> fame sells, you know, if you have followers and, and, and a lot of, uh, and you're a little bit famous, people pay attention and usually uh, your, your, uh, your NFTs, whatever you sell, sells for higher values. And I'm going to show you an example of Paris Hilton NFT in a second, which is really, really uh, interesting. So he's been posting on Instagram. He did post his, uh, his picture on Instagram, uh, May 4th, and, you know, sad face, May 5th, happy face. And he posted this one here, let there no be no confusion on May 5th. Uh, he's making a big drop on NFT. So he wants everybody to be prepared for it. Uh, if you have questions on some of the steps, if you want to read step, uh, uh, some of the, his um, blog, I would recommend you to click on his link on his blog post. So, and this is pretty much the link. So he kind of goes over uh, step by step, you know, for those who want to read it on how to pretty much set yourself up to buy NFTs and to buy his NFTs. So, uh, and, and that's pretty much his article, right? You know, his blog post, and this article pretty much covers everything. Of course, uh, one thing that he recommends, you know, and he, of course, he says this is pretty much his post right here. Trust us, come early May, you'll want to be ready for it to go. 
P.S. Please make sure you have at least one Ethereum in your wallet for the project. Now, the wallet that he recommends to you to have is MetaMask. This MetaMask um, is actually uh, a lot of uh, um, Ethereum, uh, excuse me, NFT um, uh, marketplaces support the MetaMask wallet to buy NFTs. So you could actually download it here. Uh, you could download MetaMask to uh, your Fire, Firefox as an extension, or you could download actually to also Chrome. It also supports Chrome. Um, and you can also download to your phone or and to your iOS, which is your iPhone or your Android. Uh, you know, so you could use that wallet. Now, but very, very important, you need to, of course, own some um, Ethereum. The place to buy Ethereum is Coinbase. Now, I do have a link down below, guys. If you guys don't have a Coinbase account, if you guys do click on a link and use that link, uh, you guys will receive $10 of Bitcoin when, when you do buy $100 or more crypto. So we wanted to mention that. So Ethereum is the way. So once you, of course, you have, if you don't have a Coinbase account, you definitely need to get a Coinbase account because Coinbase does allow you to, to take out your Ethereum, your crypto, your Bitcoin, whatever uh, cryptocurrency you buy on Coinbase, you could take it out of Coinbase and you could put it in different wallets. And of course, the wallet that you want to put it is MetaMask because a lot of, um, a, a lot of marketplaces where they sell NFTs support the MetaMask um, wallet, crypto wallet. So you want to have that. So uh, in terms of the marketplaces, uh, just for those who are new to the NFT space, there are various marketplaces out there. And I want to kind of, so there are various marketplaces out there. There's actually many, but there are some very famous ones that a lot of celebrities have used. Uh, so I'm going to go over them really, really quickly. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you how, how it looks. Uh, so you guys kind of have a better picture of how that works. So let me let me uh, share my screen again. Um, so some of the top ones are OpenSea. Uh, OpenSea, this uh, again, this operates on the Ethereum plat the, on the Ethereum uh, blockchain platform. Users can interact with the network to exchange non fungible tokens, which is NFTs, for cryptocurrency. It hosts a, a variety of digital collectibles, from video games items to digital digital artwork. To use the platform, you need a Web three cryptocurrency wallet such as MetaMask with something I already brought up already. So MetaMask is a crypto wallet, Chrome extension that lets you interact with certain platforms like OpenSea. So just to kind of go over and show you guys how OpenSea looks like, this is the, the marketplace. So this is pretty much where you could buy NFTs. So, um, you know, some of the stuff that, that, uh, that you, I'm sure you kind of, you know, seen on, on the internet or seen on, 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 um, on the news, um, it's pretty much was bought here. You know, um, so here is, uh, is some of the stuff that's being on sale. So if you guys can see, just to give you an example of this art piece, uh, he calls it Picasso Kong, uh, number 0175. Right now it's selling for 0 0.25 Ethereum. 0 0.25 Ethereum is equivalent to around $607. Uh, so of course, if you want to make a bid, you, you click, click the buy, et cetera, et cetera, and then you get it. So this is the OpenSea um, uh, platform. So there's other, of course, other, other uh, NFT uh, uh, marketplaces like Super Rare. Uh, this is a social network NFTs. Each piece on the platform is unique and you just can buy and sell original pieces on the website, et cetera, et cetera. NiftyGate, I, I do want to show you guys NiftyGate because a lot of celebrities use NiftyGate. Uh, the platform uh, works with uh, popular artists such as Steve Aoki, Grimes, 3LAU, and many others to release now, uh, release artwork on the primary marketplaces. The company also has a secondary marketplace that allows collectors to resell their artwork. And of course, there's one that's very become very famous as NBA Top Shot. Uh, these digital um, items are new uh, new take on basketball cars. Uh, these digital cars are more interactive than traditional trading cars. For example, the cars have in-game highlights of the future players. Uh, the highest card on the NBA Top Shot was LeBron James Dunk. The car featured a clip of James Duncan on the Houston Rockets and it sold for over two hundred thousand, which is pretty insane. And of course, Sorare is is uh, is another um, uh, NFT uh, market marketplace where it sells more uh, more into soccer and uh, soccer uh, you know collectible uh, cards. So I, I wanted to kind of show you Nifty Games, Nifty Gate, Nifty, uh, Nifty Gateway. 
because this stuff is, is pretty real, guys. It's pretty insane. Uh, and I wanted to show you Paris Hilton. She had a drop a couple, like literally five days ago. Um, it was bought. You know, if you look at the, uh, this is a, the, pretty much the history of the, of the mark of the, uh, of the bid action. You know, five days ago, the first bid was at 40,000 and it went to 51, 55, literally on the same day it sold. And it kept going up 88,000, then 100,000, 200,000, et cetera, et cetera, until it sold for $1.1 million. Uh, and it's insane. Uh, now there's this, this, this NFT actually includes some music. So as the owner of this NFT, you pretty much hold the uh, exclusivity rights and ownership of this through the blockchain. And that includes the music and this piece of art of Paris Hilton. Uh, so I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. So going back to uh, Gary V, uh, he hasn't mentioned, he has not mentioned exactly what he plans to sell. Uh, is it going to be an art piece? Is it going to be a collectible? Is it going to be uh, a physical item? You know, he hasn't really said anything. So, but in order for you to be ready uh, on May 5th for the drop, you, of course, you have to have the Ethereum, uh, which you can buy on Coinbase, and you have to have a MetaMask uh, wallet, uh, which is the one that he recommends as well. Uh, so you could, you know, have a seamless uh, purchase of the, the NFT that uh, Gary V is going to drop. But again, guys, you don't not just have to buy uh, Gary V. There's other NFTs that you have the opportunity to buy. And of course, OpenSea is a huge array and items of art that you could buy. So it's up to you what is what, what you want to do. So if you have any questions about this video, let me know down below in the YouTube comments. I hope you guys learned something from these videos. Always remember, guys, these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below on this YouTube channel, and you guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.